Hello guys, I am Batdan16 PS3 and welcome back to episode 3 of my Gran Turismo Let's Play. And as promised in this episode, we're going to do the coffee break. And this involves knocking over 300 cones. I'm actually doing this commentary in editing stage because my commentary for the actual video has somehow got lost and or corrupted or somewhere. It's not on my computer at all. So I thought in this video I'd change it up and do something different. So I'm actually going to show you all of my attempts that failed to get the gold time of 21 seconds, which is no mean feat in this car because it's slow as shit off the line. And then at the end I'll show you the actual gold trophy winning run. So don't mind the footage, it, it is sped up. And as you can see I've just tried pretty much like a rabbit in headlights, just running absolutely everywhere, just spamming that circle button for the handbrake. Uh, first run, 40 seconds, almost double what I needed to get. So I knew from then it was pretty much an uphill battle because I kept hitting the handbrake button too hard and not accelerating enough. So attempt two. Shave 10 seconds off. Attempt number three. Decided to go right instead of left. Because I see more cones out there. Uh, that wasn't good. So 32. Actually now starting to get worse. This drove me mental. I was probably at this for a good 10-15 minutes just trying to find the right line and nothing was working I think eventually I do get it underneath the 30 second mark but it wasn't until a good 7 minutes in because another 31 seconds still going backwards and still going right I didn't see any reason to change it I have got 10 seconds quicker than I did the first round and actually improved on my time on that one by four tenths. But this car was su surprisingly nimble but it's just slow off the line. If you just hit the handbrake button it'll skid you like that. You can see six seconds off sliding through that last part of the cones. Still plugging at it. Apart from the handbrake button there just didn't want to work on me fail. See, so went from 26, 24 to 40. It's absolutely terrible. And then at this point I'm getting desperate, just running around all over the place, just trying to find that one lap. The ghost was actually helping me because it would show me the route I need to take, but other than that, it was just really kind of in the way, as ghosts normally are. They just, you start trying to race the ghosts instead of, which I suppose, and this is what you want to do, you want to be quicker than it. But rather than just doing races at your own pace, you always want to try and race that, and it always, it's never completely see through. So you're always a little bit blocked. And what's that run like 10? finally get another better lap and then I finally realized what are those big bales of hay for are those to obstruct me or to those to help me I don't eventually realize they were to help me knock over cones so this is the actual gold run you can see what I mean by slow as shit off the line too even the ghost is beating me Just go up the middle trying to knock all those cones then hit it and try and turn at the exact same time so you're not stuck behind it. Let's take out all of these rows and then do the exact same down here. There. Seven tenths faster than the gold time that they're asking for. And at this point, about 15, maybe more, 15 minutes in, I was just done. I was almost ready to throw my steering wheel out the window or into the TV, which wouldn't have helped. But I finally got the gold. 
And it's probably nice of you to see that I am human after all. I'm not always going to win everything first time. And yeah, nice change of pace. So that's the coffee break finally done. In the next video, it's back to normal racing. We'll be back to, I think it's the amateur championship. And do the championship, uh, the novice championship, my bad. And we'll do that in the next part. Thanks for watching.